Copyright Disclaimer All materials in these videos and audio are used for entertainment purposes and fall within the guidelines of fair use. Under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. If you are, or represent, the copyright owner of materials used in this video, and have an issue with the use of said material, please send an email to underscore mananzalarichard30 at gmail.com. Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bootable USB drive for Windows 11 with an Android smartphone. Problems with booting an operating system may appear out of the blue, and usually it happens at the most inappropriate moment. On the one hand, you may not have access to another computer at this particular moment, or there might be no bootable disk or USB drive at hand. On the other hand, you don't feel like visiting your friends who live on the other side of the city, but you do have that portable gadget in your pocket. With an Android smartphone, you can easily restore the operating system of your computer. In a minute, I will show you in detail how to create a bootable USB drive for Windows 11 with an Android device. So, let's begin. Before we start, let's find out what we need. First of all, a USB drive or memory card of sufficient capacity. I recommend using one with at least 8GB of free space. It will have to be formatted, so if there is any important data, save it elsewhere. If you're going to use a USB drive, you will also need an on-the-go, also known as OTG adapter, to connect it to the smartphone. Before you proceed, make sure your phone's battery is fully charged, as creating the bootable drive is quite a long and power-consuming process. Finally, you need an ISO image of the operating system. You can download it from Microsoft official website. It is necessary to have that image saved in the memory of your phone. Open any browser from your Android device and search for a page where you can download an image of the operating system. I strongly recommend using images from the official website only. Select version, confirm this choice, select language, and confirm your choice again. After you select the image bitness, 32-bit or 64-bit, the download will start. Wait until the entire image file is downloaded. As soon as it's ready, start creating the bootable drive. In order to write an ISO image of the operating system to the storage device, you need to download a special app – Ventoy on your phone. This is a simple and free tool available for anyone on Play Market. It works without the so-called root access rights, and it can handle ISO files of various size. It lets you create a multi-boot USB drive or an external USB drive for both UEFI and legacy. Alright, so let's start Ventoy and connect the USB drive to your smartphone. You can do it with the help of an OTG adapter, using the proper type required for the type of interface that your device is equipped with – microUSB to USB or Type-C to USB. Consider this peculiarity when selecting an OTG adapter to use. When you connect the USB drive, you'll be asked to provide access to the device. So tap OK. After that, set the switch to either MBR or GPT. Then enable Secure Boot to exclude installation of unlicensed Windows images. Now tap Install to add the Ventoy app to your USB drive. It is important to remember that the USB drive will be formatted. When the installation is complete, it is time to record the image. Tap the Copy button, choose the path to the ISO file and add it. Wait until the ISO file is copied. It takes quite a long time. That's all. The bootable drive is ready to use and you can connect it to your computer and boot from this drive. There is a detailed video tutorial about installing an operating system, so check the link in the description. And that is all. Install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog, you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles.
for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck. Hello friends. If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description. Download the necessary program for free.